Right now, things with comics are just crazy. It seems like every week we are breaking some kind of record as it relates to comics that we all love. And as this happens, there are also more and more people coming into the comic book market. And these, in many ways, are folks that used to collect comics back in the day that are now revisiting their hobby after decades, in some cases, because of the prices that we're seeing. We've also seen an influx of folks that dabble in sports cards and trading cards coming into the hobby as well. All of this attention is culminating in a question that is being asked. And this question comes to me in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. And the question that everybody wants to know is whether now is the time to sell. And I want you to look at me, I want you to look real close. The answer is that I don't know. I don't know what the right thing for you to do is with your comics, but I will ask you in this video a couple of questions. I will give you a few things to think about as you evaluate whether now is the time to sell. Stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I want to encourage you to do so because our mission here is to help you to make sense of comic book collecting. With that said, I'm going to offer five tips and things for you to think about as you evaluate whether now is the time for you to sell a comic that is in your possession. The first tip is to ask yourself what you're going to do with the money. Now, here's the thing. Just because a comic is high right now in terms of its value, and just because you can sell that book and actually make a profit, that doesn't mean that you have to sell. And if you do decide to sell, the question becomes, what do you do with the money that you're going to make? Do you have a plan for that money? I have many friends out there that if they have money in their possession, they're going to find ways to spend that money and they may nickel and dime it away on lots of different things. And in the end, they're going to wonder where all the money went and they probably will not be able to remember where the money was spent because it was dribs and drabs here and there. And maybe you're that type of person. I honestly don't know. But if you're going to sell a book and you're going to make a profit, the question is, what is your plan? Are you going to take that money and invest it into something else? Are you going to pay a bill? Are you going to just put it in the bank? What is your plan? And you should probably think about that before you pull the trigger and actually sell a collectible that potentially will continue to go up in value. Tip number two is has the trailer dropped? And I say that because so many people out there believe that the proper time to actually sell a collectible in a hot comic is when the trailer that is associated with that comic actually drops. Because at that moment, that is potentially the height of the popularity for that particular book. And there's also some uncertainty there. And what I mean by that is that the trailer comes out the trailer tends to make everything look amazing. But maybe the movie, when it ultimately comes out, isn't as good as the trailer. And if that happens, then the book that is associated with that movie probably won't perform as well. So if the trailer makes everything look good, and that's when everybody starts to really pay attention, then potentially selling that comic when the trailer drops is your best opportunity to make some money, especially if there's a chance that that movie isn't going to be good. So the question is, if you have a comic that is associated with a movie or a TV show, you may want to make wait for the trailer to drop before you actually sell that collectible. Otherwise, you may be potentially leaving money on the table if you sell too soon, or you're going to not be able to sell that book and make more money if the movie or the TV show turns out to be not as good as we expect it to be. Tip number three, has the comic reached its height of popularity? And what I mean by that is that there are a lot of comics out there 
that are setting records week after week after week. And truthfully, we don't know when the music is going to stop on any of this stuff. But the question that you have to ask yourself is, has that book reached its height? Has it reached its peak? As an example, X-Men books right now are crazy. Just crazy across the board, X-Men keys are, right? They're going for insane amounts of money in, in especially 9.8, especially for keys, they're doing really well. But we haven't seen anything related to the X-Men when it comes to the MCU. It hasn't been mentioned. It hasn't been referenced. Everything that is happening right now in terms of what is happening with prices is really driven by speculation, driven by what we think is going to happen. Imagine what is going to be the situation when the trailer drops, or maybe even when Kevin Feige utters the word X-Men movie, right? So you have to ask yourself, is now the time to sell? Is the book at its peak? If not, then maybe now is not the time for you to actually sell this book, unless you have another plan for that money. Maybe again, you have to pay a bill or you have to put a kid through school or something like that. Then all bets are off and then you have to do what you have to do. Tip number four is to really sit down and think about how much money you are actually going to make on this book. How much profit will you actually make? I think a lot of times people look at the sales prices associated with books and all they see is dollar signs, but they don't necessarily take the time to think about the acquisition costs associated with that comic, nor the cost associated with having to sell that book. Because if you buy a book for a thousand dollars and now that book is, you know, a thousand one hundred, is that enough profit? Is that enough profit for you really to make it worthwhile for you to actually sell that comic? Especially when you have to factor in that you might be selling that book on eBay via PayPal and there are all kinds of fees that are factored into it. So you really have to take some time to, yes, look at the value of what these comics are actually going for, but think about your actual profit margin based upon what you have into that book as well as seller fees, if you will. And when you do the math on that, again, you have to ask yourself, is the profit margin meaningful enough for you to take some kind of action right now? And potentially the answer is to do nothing other than to sit on that book and to see how that book continues to perform over time. Tip number five is a big one, and it's really around regrets. I know a lot of people that have sold books and then regretted selling those comics. So part of what you're going to have to ask yourself is, will you have regrets if you sell that comic today? Especially if next week there is some kind of announcement and the value of that book skyrockets. Are you going to regret that decision? If the answer is yes, then again, maybe you don't sell. Maybe the book that you're thinking about selling is a book that you have no attachment to whatsoever, then sell it. Maybe what you're going to do is to sell a book so that you can buy another book that actually means a lot more to you, then sell that book and be done with it and move on. But if there is a chance that you're actually going to have some kind of regrets because you are either attached to this book or because the value may go up, then you definitely want to take some time to think about, is this the right move for you? So there you have it. Those are my five practical tips for if now is the time to actually sell a comic. I will tell you that if you enjoyed this rundown, this format, there are a ton of other five tips videos here on the channel for you to check out. And it's important to note that these videos are intended to be quick hitting and fast paced. Rest assured that there are a ton of other videos that are here on the channel that go into a lot more detail on some of the themes that we've only touched on in this specific format. Certainly, if you cannot find those videos here on YouTube, if you send me a message on Instagram, I can definitely guide you to the right video that may help you the most. As always, if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram 
at Reggie Collects. Take care.